So, boys, girls, what is going on? Um, I don't know if you've heard about it more than like you have because it is KSI, obviously. Miss Sweet Boxing recently had their weigh-in for their upcoming event on The Zone. You know, look at it. Ice Poseidon, I don't know. I don't really know why Ice Poseidon is on this thing. But he's fighting. And JJ actually got, you know, sucker punched in the face. Throw some coffee at him by Dylan Dennis. Apparently, this guy has some problems with him. I don't know what the issues are. Uh, I don't really look into it. But, you know, this this he just threw some coffee in JJ's face, basically, in KSI's face. And it, it kind of, it was eventful, to say the least. JJ was there in business mode, doing his thing, you know, just being there, supporting, representing his event. And this guy just came in, MMA fighter, by the way, just came in, sucker punched him, threw coffee in his face, and then ran off, I guess. Yo, the funny let's the 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 random let's go champs in the background just makes it even more funny. <laughs> this man just in the background like let's go champ, let's go. Man, this just make it more funny. It just makes it more funny. But yeah, man just came up on the stage with a drink in his hand. First and foremost, you never let someone who doesn't like you come up that close to you with a drink in their hand. It, it's it's gonna go. It's gonna go sideways real quick. It's not gonna go good. He's not gonna come there to give you the drink. He's not gonna come there to have a talk with you. He's gonna come there to do some bullshit like that. And secondly, this is just a this is a coward's move. Honestly, this is a dick. This is a pussy move. It's this is called it what it is. It is a, a coward's move. You know that security is gonna take you and him away the moment they see anything happen. Why don't you? Do this somewhere else. Why don't you just say you want to fight him? I don't know why you're being a child about it. This is this just screams I want attention. You know this man is just desperate for, to fight him, desperate for a contract. Uh, honestly, if I'm JJ, and I know I'm not, and he is going to want to fight him because that's just the person he is. He shouldn't fight him. He should not fight him. He should just absolutely ignore him, and just call it a day. Just ignore him. Just don't give him the attention because all he's looking for is a spotlight, apparently. Everybody wants a spotlight now. Because if they fight, let's say they do fight, the person that is going to sell the fight is not going to be Dylan. It's going to be JJ. So he's basically just trying to ride the wave of this whole boxing YouTuber event. That's basically all he's trying to do. I don't, I don't see how this actually benefits JJ in any way or even boxing in any way because they've done the whole boxer versus... And Mayfight already didn't go good. It's not going to go well. We've seen what happens when that when that crosses over. It. I don't really watch boxing. Not really interested in it. Just not in it as a sport. I'm a football person, but this is just actually this is just actually interesting. Still not going to watch it though. I'm just going to look at the the results. I'm just going to see who wins if he does fight him. I hope he does not fight him though. It does not fight him because JJ looks like an animal, just trying to feed on him. Cause he was running after him he was he was like get your ass here right now because he wanted to beat his ass right there but you know somebody help him somebody somebody beat him to it oh uh, yeah somebody helped jj out in the in the thick of it in the thick of it you had anthony taylor coming out from the shadows you know like like a robin to the batman just coming out to help him out you know, he, he was like, JJ, you, don't worry about it, big bro. You can't do it. I, I'll do it for you. Also, Anthony Taylor is uh, an actual MMA fighter as well. And this is what happened after this whole commotion.
Man's just and he landed a couple of punches. Probably one. I don't know. It it just it's just funny. This whole event is funny. It was, it was it was a good calm event. You know, everybody was just doing their thing. People just weighing in, talking, talking this, talking their shit. People silent stare downs, icy cold stare downs. People just doing their thing, and then after the event, everything just erupted. You know, MMA fighters getting into doing what MMA fighters do. What does this person kind of look like? T Pain fighters. I don't know what it is. Is this like his bodyguard or something? Crazy. Kind of look like T Pain fighters, doesn't he? I don't, know, I don't know. I thought that was just a random thing. Why is this? Bro? What the dog doing here? The dog is like, what is going on? What is what is happening? Who is what is happening out here? The dog is confused. This dog wants to go home. Okay, he wants to. He or she wants to go home and sleep, and get its puppy chow, and just get out of this crazy human world. Whatever they're doing. But yeah, he clearly wanted none of the smoke. You know, from Anthony Taylor. He wanted all the smoke from KSI, the air quotes, even though he did run away because he was running away from this. And then, you know, after all this happened, we had some reactions to see, you know, how the people felt, how the streets were talking about it. What were the streets saying about this whole thing? I ran up on them talking about, yo, you a bully with your little MMA partners fight me. I'm an MMA fighter too. So I got around this dude. He tried to throw a jab. I slipped his old overhand right. He stumbled back into the fucking car. His partner came at me. I slipped out with the peekable style. His ass with a left hook. His boy came in like this. And this, and was, he, this was Dylan Dennis here fighting. This was his partners. All three of these motherfuckers got beat up by me. I said, nigga, I'm an MMA fighter too. What it do? So now, actually, I did, I did a good job of holding you back, like, though. You, you coming over here, <laughs> I did do a good job of holding you back. Hey, you coming over here on a, on a, on a YouTube event yeah. what has nothing to do with you trying to go viral, trying to hit people, why did not look? Hey, he went viral with that hey, right hook. Hey, so, with the right so, or left? With an overhand right. Oh, now overhand you went right viral. Right. So you think your MMA fighter boys think y'all going to come to a YouTube event not knowing that I'm here, I'm an MMA fighter. So, get so, beat now, the fuck so now you went viral, Dylan Dennis, with my overhand right. Yeah. Any any <laughs> MMA fighter or YouTube motherfuckers want to come to this event while I'm here, y'all going to get dealt with right here. First and foremost, what is what what time period is this guy stuck in? This dude is stuck in the 1970s. This man is stuck in the time when bell tops were popping, popping afros were hot, s curls were in the thing. What what is up with these yellow glasses, yellow shirt, big ass chain? What what is going on here? I I I'm honestly confused as to what this timeline is, as opposed to everybody else, because everybody else looks to be up in twenty twenty two. He looks to be up in nineteen forty seven. What well, I don't get it, but yeah, that's the event. Slim looks kind of crazy, but Slim always looks crazy. I don't know, too much G fuel maybe, but yeah, that that's the old. Basically, everything that's been going on after the event, the event was calm, like I said, it was chill, No, nothing was happening, no fusses, no fighting, you know, MMA fighters get involved, and then it all becomes, it becomes just a shit show. I don't understand why he said he thought that was a homeless guy on the street. When he clearly saw him walk to the event, then one, two, he clearly knows who he was. Three, he he was he was running. He was running from him. That's what I saw. I saw someone running away from a fight that they didn't want anything to be a part of. Just 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 say you don't want to fight him. Just say you want to go viral. You know, you want to go in the ring with KSI. You want you want to have the eyes on that fight because KSI is in, and you want to be relevant in this space more than likely i guess i don't know um but yeah that's, those are my comments on what i think about it i really think that he shouldn't actually fight him because it makes no sense for him to give him that you know to give him that what do you call it i really don't think it makes any sense to give him that light that spotlight that 15 minutes of fame that he clearly once that's what i think he wants because ain't no way you going 
to a boxing weigh-in event that has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with MMA. Okay, it's a YouTuber crossover boxing, whatever they call it, and they are weighing in professionalism, and you just come there, throw a drink in somebody's face. I, I expect you to get knocked down, but he didn't because his bodyguard was on him. His body, KSI's bodyguard was on him, like flies to shit. He, they were on him like the with the swiftness. They just scooped him up. <laughs> He just scooped him up, bro. That's the kind of bodyguards you need when you get a bodyguard. The bodyguards that can just literally scoop you up or just knock somebody out, but protect you first, okay? Yeah, that's what, those are my thoughts on it. That's what I think about it, you know? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to just keep in touch with whatever ramblings I go on with. And let me know what your comments on the event, what happened, what you think about it, what you think maybe is the right event, the right thing that JJ should do. I, Like I said, I think that he should just ignore it you should just 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 say something like I don't want to step down to that level. Just ignore him. That's what I think.